Well, it is going to be several more hours before Sunrise Highway can reopen. Just to recap what happened here, a tractor trailer driving on Sunset Highway overturned at 1 o'clock in the morning, spilling 9,000 gallons of gasoline. That truck crashed into an abandoned Lazy Boy furniture gallery as well as the side of a liquor store across the street. More than 150 firefighters from 25 different departments responded to this fire. Two firefighters who were hospitalized with minor injuries have been been released as has the driver of the tanker truck who is now being questioned by Nassau County Police. They are the ones leading this investigation. So here's what has to happen before any traffic can start moving through here again. Excavators need to remove what is left of the lazy boy so that firefighters can see if there are any remaining hot spots. They are still dousing parts of the building. The rest of the building then has to be inspected for structural integrity and only after all of that happens can the Department of Transportation come in and assess if the the highway can reopen, so this is going to be at least six, five or six hours. DPW crews are trying to open up Merrick Road, which runs parallel to relieve some of the traffic. County Executive Bruce Blakeman had this message for residents. Uh, right now, I would anticipate staying away from uh, the central corridor of Rockville Center at this time, as uh, there's an ongoing investigation. Uh, there's ongoing work that's being done uh, as Chief Fire Marshal said there's still some hot spots, so the fire's not completely out, and there are environmental issues that we're concerned with at this time. Now, the other half of this investigation focuses on the oil that spilled those 9,000 gallons, some of which got into the storm drains. The Coast Guard has contained the spill. They've used a special helicopter to map out exactly where it is. They've put booms into place to make sure that the oil doesn't spread any further, and they are now in the process of cleanup. That could take several hours. 500 homes in the area are without power, as are all of the businesses in this area. Two schools also had to close today. Uh, St. Agnes Elementary and Riverside Elementary. The mayor says that they will reopen tomorrow. I asked the county executive if it's going to be possible for businesses to perhaps open at any point today. He said don't expect them to be open until at least the evening, if even that. Reporting live in Rockville Center, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News. All right, Katie, thanks so much for that update.